We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. COVID-19 cases in Metro Manila are projected to reach their peak by next week following the decrease in the number of cases. In a tweet, Okta Research Fellow Dr. Guido David reveals that COVID-19 growth rate in Metro Manila is now at 5%, down from the 14% growth rate on August 2nd. Reproduction rate also slid down at 1.17%. Healthcare utilization rate at 35.7% and positivity rate at 15.9%, down from 17.4% as of August 6. Meanwhile, the health department wants to redefine the term fully vaccinated to include those who are getting their COVID 19 booster shots. With a low turnout of COVID-19 booster shots among the eligible population, DOH officer in charge Maria Rosario Vergere said the department will propose it to the office of the president to further encourage more people to take the jab. The health department, under its Pinas Lakas campaign, aims to administer booster shots to at least 50% of the eligible population and vaccinate at least 90% of the senior citizens within the first 100 days of the Marcos administration. Prices remain stable, especially in areas under a state of calamity, according to the Department of Trade and Industry, or DTI. The DTI is strictly monitoring the prices of basic goods in Abra, especially that the province is under a state of calamity. With the recent devastation caused by the magnitude 7 earthquake, price freeze in the area is in effect from July 28 until September 25. Meanwhile, Datu Montawal in Maguindanao is also under a state of calamity due to massive flooding caused by the overflowing of the Maridagao and Cabacan rivers. As such, price freeze is in effect from July 15 to September 15. Also under strict monitoring for price increase is the province of Antique, which is under a state of calamity due to a dengue outbreak. A price cap on the prices of basic commodities is being implemented until September 12. Uh, under the Price Act po, automatic price freeze yan upon the declaration of the state of calamity or emergency. So yung sa Abra po, matatapos ng September 26 dahil in-issue ito ng July 28. Meron pa po tayong sa ibang lugar din na uh, under a state of calamity dahil naman sa ibang uh, dahilan. So naka-price freeze din po siya. Um, meron po tayong regional and provincial offices ng DTI na sila po naman ang nagmumonitor dun sa mga lugar na declared under a state of calamity. So, pati po ang inspection sa retail, yung mga negosyante na nagbebenta ng basic necessities and prime commodities natin, uh, strictly monitored yan. So, ang presyo po, uh, sinisigurado natin na naka-freeze siya or frozen at the prevailing price na computed natin for the last three months. Prices of sugar and sugar products are also being monitored by the DTI as prices go up due to supply shortage. Castello said the DTI is ready to assist consumers and will direct their complaints to the Department of Agriculture. Prices of sugar is seen to stabilize soon with the upcoming production and importation. We have always assisted naman po ang Department of Agriculture over the years then uh, na, na strengthen natin yung relationship natin sa kanila. So ang DTI po, meron naman kaming mechanism, meron tayong isang buong bureau Ito po yung Fair Trade Enforcement Bureau na tumutulong sa sa anong gumagawa ng enforcement and monitoring ng presyo. So, pag kanilabas po ng DA yan, makakatulong po tayo in terms of monitoring din. Dahil anyway, nagpumonitor naman talaga tayo sa mga pamilihan. Pwede po natin isama ang asukal. We can also receive complaints po. Uh, kahit na sa DA product ito, pwede po namin tulungan ang consumers rin sa pagtanggap ng complaint and maybe help... Uh, help the Department of Agriculture process the complaint. Tapos uh, sila po ang mag-penalize at sila po rin ang mag aaksyon doon sa against the retailer. Requirements for Sagada Mountain Province visitors implemented due to the coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 pandemic are now lifted. Sagada Mayor Felicito Dula said the registration and requirement of test results including the proof of full vaccination are no longer asked from visitors going to Sagada. The payment of the management fee has also been suspended by the local legislative council. 
The town is highly dependent on tourism, with most of the residents directly or indirectly engaged in the industry. Activities and destinations that have reopened to the public include the Echo Valley, Bomod Ok Falls, the Hanging Coffins, and Marlboro Blue Soil. Bus trips going to Sagada from Baguio and Manila are now available. In sports, the Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas says Kai Soto will play for Gilas Pilipinas in the fourth window of 2023 FIBA World Cup qualifiers this month. In a statement, the SBP said Kai is arriving in Manila from Australia on August 18. It said Kai has expressed willingness to join his teammates in preparing for the qualifiers. Aside from Kai, NBA Utah Jazz star Jordan Clarkson is strengthening the ranks of the national team. Gilas is facing Lebanon in Beirut on August 25 and Saudi Arabia on August 29 in Manila. The SBP will announce the complete pool of players after the PBA Philippine Cup semifinals. And that is the latest from the PNA Newsroom. Stay tuned for more updates on the biggest stories throughout the day. I am William Theo. Good day, everyone.